Welcome to my channel, Astronomy Fans. Today, we're going to embark on an amazing journey to explore the beginning of everything. The Big Bang. Get ready to witness the birth of our universe. The Big Bang is a scientific theory that explains the origin of our universe. According to this theory, around 13.8 billion years ago, all of matter, energy, space and time came into existence in the cataclysmic event known as the Big Bang. However, what actually happened during the Big Bang? Imagine the entire universe compressed into a single, extremely hot and dense point called a singularity. At this moment, the laws of physics as we know them don't apply, making it an area of intense mystery. Then, in an inconceivable split second, the singularity began to expand rapidly, starting the process we now call cosmic inflation. During this age of inflation, the universe underwent exponential expansion, making it the vast universe we observe today. As the universe expanded, its temperature became cooler, allowing sub-particles to form. At this early stage, the universe was a kind of hot soup full of particles, including quarks, electrons, and their counterparts of antimatter, interacting and colliding in a chaotic dance. In just a few minutes after the Big Bang, the universe cooled enough for protons and neutrons to form. This process is known as nucleosynthesis, where the nuclei of the simplest atoms, such as hydrogen and helium, are created. As the universe continued to expand and cool, pockets of slightly denser matter began to form, eventually giving rise to the formation of galaxies, stars, and other cosmic structures. At this early stage, the universe was dominated by hydrogen and helium, with small amounts of heavy elements formed via nucleosynthesis in processes such as nuclear fusion reaction. Clumps of this initial matter began to clump together and attract other matter through the force of gravity. This process gradually formed small-scale structures called protogalaxies. As matter continued to accumulate and condense, the temperature and pressure within the core of the protogalaxies increased. At a certain point, this temperature and pressure are high enough to trigger a nuclear fusion reaction, which converts hydrogen to helium and releases a large amount of energy. This fusion reaction caused the first thermonuclear combustion in the universe and the formation of the first stars. The process of star formation begins inside a cloud of gas and dust called a nebula. This nebula is formed from the remnants of material produced by exploding stars. Intense gravity began to work within the nebula, pulling matter toward its center. As matter collects in the center of the nebula, gravity causes compression, which increases the pressure and temperature. This very high pressure and temperature triggers a nuclear reaction in which hydrogen nuclei combine to form helium. This reaction generates tremendous energy, causing the center of the nebula to become very hot. The hot and growing center of the nebula is called a protostar. This process takes thousands of years. As the protostar continued to expand, the strong gravity and high pressure of the gases created temperatures and pressures high enough to initiate nuclear reactions. When the nuclear reaction starts, the protostar turns into a main star, or what is called a main sequence star. This star is in a stable state and produces energy from the nuclear fusion reactions that are ongoing in its core. The age and size of these stars varies depending on the amount of material present at the time of formation. However, not all stars end up as major stars. Larger stars will experience supernova, which are violent explosions that release tremendous amounts of energy. Supernovas produce heavier elements and emit shockwaves into space. Now, let's move on to the formation of galaxies. Galaxies are formed through a very complex process. Initially, gravity pulled matter into large nebulae called galactic nebulae. 
This matter includes gas, dust, and stars that are attracted by gravity. As matter in a galactic nebula rotates, it forms a disc-shaped structure called the galactic disc. Inside this disc, matter continued to accumulate and began to form clumps called protogalaxies. Over billions of years, the protogalaxies merged and grew through gravitational interactions. This process forms larger and more complex galaxies. Today, we can observe remnants of the Big Bang in the form of cosmic microwave background radiation. This faint radiation is like an echo from the early universe, carrying valuable information about its early staging. The Big Bang theory is supported by a number of observational evidence, including the redshift of distant galaxies, the abundance of light elements in the universe, and the cosmic microwave background radiation. However, there are still mysteries and unanswered questions that drive constant research. Scientists continue to explore the mysteries of the Big Bang using advanced telescopes, such as the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope. They are looking for clues about the nature of dark matter, dark energy, and the ultimate destiny of our universe. The Big Bang wasn't just a moment in time, but started an incredible story about the evolution of our universe, from the formation of galaxies to the emergence of life on Earth. These are stories that continue to captivate scientists and inspire our awe. Continue to explore the wonders of this universe. Discover the beauty beyond the stars and let yourself be enthralled by the infinite majesty of astronomy. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed this video and want to get fun and useful content about astronomy, don't forget to press the subscribe button below.